Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to make the more complex drone. This is the second part of my series with the drone tutorial. So if you didn't check the first episode, I suggest to do it. Now what we have different is I have a sorter here to rearm. Oh, but it's placed the opposite way, so it's not gonna work. Yeah, when you do it, make sure the arrow is looking up towards the drone, not towards the base. So it's not gonna work, but if you place it correct, it will rearm and refill and so on. This time what I have is two timer blocks, the remote control facing forward, of course. It's exactly on the same line in the middle with the connector. So it has the alignment to connect. I don't know how to make offset yet with the offset connector and to be precise. Okay. So after you have your way GPS markers placed while you are flying with the drone because it has to be exactly precise with the remote control position. The drone is gonna fly towards the GPS marker and it's gonna stop where is the remote control place. Okay, after you have your waypoints, what you need to do is go to the remote control and in my scenario, it's like this. It's flying mode one way facing forward, speed limit you can do it whatever. Usually if it's slower, slower it's not gonna collide or smack with something that easily. Then I have the first waypoint, it's pre-docking, which is done up, up, you will see why. And it has an action with collision avoidance on, currently it's off then it's doing his job, it's coming back to the same waypoint and this time it's gonna make the collision avoidance off so it, it can come down to the connecting place and it's not gonna try to avoid the collision then on the connecting one where is the dock, the docking one over, where is now the drone I have the um, timer rearm start and here the good part is starting it's a timing block and what it has I put a three seconds delay so the drone has time to settle then what he's gonna do is gonna make the autopilot off isn't so it's not gonna start to fly again also it's one way but if you have to if it has the circle or more it's gonna do it again and then is the locking switch switch lock is gonna lock then the batteries are gonna recharge because it's using bad i use batteries not reactors then thrusters off uh, conveyor sorter on but it's not working again i just noticed i placed it wrong it's the other way facing and the uh, timers block start it's gonna start <laughs> what he's gonna do has a delay of one minute because I need time for the batteries to recharge this it's very important because depending how much the drone has to fly per each round this is the time it, you will need to tweak until the batteries is recharging back to 100% in this case one minute I'm pretty sure it's enough I mean creative anyway so it doesn't matter but it's really important then in the settings, it's making again the battery auto, the thrusters on, it's gonna unlock, it's gonna make the converter conversor block off. Again, it's not working because I placed it wrong. And remote control, it's gonna put it will put the autopilot on and it's gonna start everything all the way again. Also, if you are going to the conveyor sorter. I have to drain all 25 by 184 NATO ammo. If you use the reactor, you don't need to make for the timing block start to wait one minute because it doesn't need to recharge. Instead, you can add uranium ingots also, so it's gonna also fill. But this is not like that one. Did I miss something? I hope not. So let's check everything it's locked recharged on off, and all right going out make sure you are not controlling the drone when you start because it's not gonna work you can do it with the timer start with 
to press it start and wait one minute and go or you can take control of the drone undock it then get out so you are not controlling and go to the remote control and put the autopilot on so these are the two ways you can do it but I'm gonna start with uh, this one let's see if it's gonna work start now it's gonna stay one minute to recharge and everything until then let's make a recap the you have the waypoint all in the same order collision the point and on when you are flying so you are not making something when he's coming back he's gonna take it off so he can dock then he's gonna start the ti the first timing block which is rearm this one has a delay of three seconds it's gonna put the autopilot off it's gonna switch all of this correctly and it's gonna start the second timer this one has one minute delay I have 50 seconds left it's gonna switch uh, everything back and it's gonna make autopilot on let's see if this works yep now it's going for some reason first time it's skipping the first waypoint but then it's working Okay, first waypoint this is why I have precision on so it's going exactly to the waypoint if you don't have it it's gonna fly faster and it's not gonna stop exactly to the waypoint it's gonna hover around 5-10 meters until it stops and go again second waypoint now we should go back to the pre-docking place hope so sometimes today it's weird and some in really small cases the drone is not working correctly you need to copy paste or re make it again in very bad cases and yeah now it's doing it all the way again let's see timer start yep and it's gonna be like this all the time the only part here yeah, is the ammo is not taking ammo because this is the other way so instead of going in is going out but I believe it's not working either the Gatling turret still has ammo but maybe it's working only with the storage c containers yeah we will see in the next one the third episode is gonna be with different types of drones and scenarios we will have some fun and yeah i hope you enjoy it give a like subscribe and see you in the next one bye bye